right here. Thank you. So here's the young boy appeal opinion. I want you to read very carefully the first sentence of the opening paragraph. And I want you to ask yourself, in what world should an appeals court that is ruling on the privacy interest and the constitutionality of a search open the opinion by saying that he violated federal gun laws? There's no evidence in the record of what that video is that he vi Read this. They start from the... Drug on a professional rapper called again. I'm with his sister. with gun laws. I can't read this shit. Goofy goober. Premise that he's guilty of the crime when they're not even asked to evaluate the crime. They're asked to evaluate the constitutionality of the search. Read this. Kentrell Golden, a rapper professionally called Young Boy Never Broke Again or NBA Young Boy. He's a rapper. Let's focus on that. Succeeded <laughs> in suppressing. Oh, you mad? Succeeded in suppressing a video that showed him a felon violating federal gun laws. That video shows him a felon violating federal gun laws? Really? Because the video shows a felon, yeah, we know NBA Youngboy to be a felon, holding what appears to be a handgun in a music video outside his parents' house in the genre of gangster rap. How do you know he's violating federal gun laws and how do you start your opinion assuming you have assumed your first sentence is that this guy broke the law. Now let's decide whether the search was constitutional. So here's the young boy appeal opinion. I want I'm confused, Chad. I ain't gonna lie. Wrong one. The NBA young boy opinion is so, is so deeply disappointing. And here's why the judges basically say, yeah, but we're not sure that he wanted that to be private video. It was never released to anyone. It was shot by his personal cameraman who walks around and records him. And they say this in the opinion. They say, yeah, but it's not clear that he wanted that stuff to remain private. And we would maybe have. No, 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 no. When you make and you write an opinion like that, What's understood does not need to be said. So many things are understood as facts because we all live on this earth and we know that black is black and white is white and gray is gray. And the idea that NBA young boy that you need, that you don't know that he wanted to keep that private, that it's not proven to you as a judge. And so for that reason, you can go and reverse this decision. That tells me something. If you ask me, my opinion is that this is a case where you're looking for a way to rule for the, the government them. and you split hairs and you rule for them and here's why that's not right not when it's a kid who grows up the way he grows up in the criminal justice system in the way he does in a society that feels this unfair and fair age and he puts it out there and they respond to him and they say yes that's our guy and then you're gonna split hairs after the federal judge in Louisiana said they violated his rights you're gonna split hairs fifth circuit <clears throat> we need the best supreme the NBA young boy opinion is so nigga. If they violate his, his his fucking constitutional rights, nigga, he should beat that bitch. And even if he wasn't to beat that bitch, right? Hypothetically speaking, and he got caught for his federal gun case, what's the maximum that you can get for uh, yo slime? You live in LA, don't you? You stay slime student? I'm right here. You live in LA, right? Yeah. How much would they give you in LA for for a gun charge? Not a, it's really not. No, like, but how, no, it's a lot when you're charged as a felon, though. Oh, like, oh, like, uh, you already been in jail type shit. Uh, you're like seven to five type shit. Not like, not, not like, like 20 years, bro. You're not getting, it depends what type of gun also, too. But if you carry that big shit. Oh, it's Louisiana, not LA? Oh. No, that's, that's a whole different. Now, Louisiana, man. He's facing seven, and how much You're time getting... has he already? And how much time has he already done the house arrest? Like two years, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like, bro, so if he faces like, like, let's say he gets charged with like three, bro, the nigga will be home in a year, and if not, the nigga could, could just get out on good behavior. Like that would just be pointless, bro. Free that man, bro. I feel like the most they're gonna give him is two years. That time don't count in the feds. What do you mean that time don't count in the feds, nigga? He's on house arrest. The fuck? You don't get time served in the feds? Oh, shit.
Oh, that's ass. Oh, that is so ass. I know he's going to do some time, though, for sure. If house arrests don't count, that's ass. Because this nigga been on house arrest this whole time. We've been getting nothing but bullshit. So then why are they not taking him off house arrest? They feel like he's at flight risk or some shit? Cannot believe it, quite frankly. Update on NBA young boy. He lost the appeal with the federal appeals court. He can take it up to the Supreme Court. What happened? So the, He's federal fly judge, the lower court Damn. ruled in his favor. She said that the video of him what holding what looks like to be a gun is suppressed. It can't be used to trial against him. The way you guys obtained it, you violated his constitutional rights. Now, the government went to the Fifth Circuit United States Court of Appeals. The Fifth Circuit said, you know what, we have a different decision, and we're going to say that the government can use that evidence. It is oh, they are dicks. The now, young boy's got a couple of options. One, he can appeal to the Supreme Court. I fully expect they will appeal to the Supreme Court. Two, Educating you got to go to the government and say, look, this guy was locked up Did you pray for a long amount of time. I think he was locked up for not, almost yeah, a year. He's been on house arrest for almost a year. How much time do you want him to serve and think about doing a plea bargain? Ultimately, you can also take this case to trial and try to beat the feds and go 2-0 against them. He's previously beaten a federal felony gun possession case. Look, it should be clear to everybody that they have it out for this guy and they're going to chase him till the ends of time. What will happen from here? I don't know. Supreme Court, maybe. Trial, maybe. Plea bargain, maybe. Free young boy. Update on NBA young boy. He lost the appeal. I'm not taking no plea. I ain't gonna lie. What would the plea be? So if he's facing seven, what do you think the plea deal would be? Like four? They should count the time that he was already on health service. That's what I said. Because he did like three, bro. Now two. But here's the thing, bro. Even if it's four years and you're facing seven, are you taking that plea or are you taking that shit to trial? They already violated, they already violated your constitutional rights, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it 100. I'm taking that shit to trial. Yeah. He could beat it. <clears throat> you know how hard it is beating a Fed case, though? I thought he already oh, yeah. beat ones. I thought he beat the feds one time. He did, and how, how he did it was a miracle. <clears throat> I hop right with a big magnet, this is a cool and 50. Thank you for the sub, brother. <clears throat> Life you better not risk that. Hold on. 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 Hold Look up why I be bullying people in the feds. I heard about some shit like that, but bro, I mean, the nigga has money. Does it like, bro? Any nigga with money is gonna bully somebody in, in prison, bro. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not realistic for you to be a multimillionaire in prison getting your shit torched. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> realistically. Six nine, six nine wasn't getting beat up in the feds, bro. None of these niggas who have multi-millions, bro, and has some type of gang affiliation or background, to me, I ain't gonna lie, you're gonna be good in there, bro. The only nigga who got fucked up in jail that really surprised me was YFM Mucci. And you know who he got fucked up by? An affiliate of another multi-millionaire. That's the only reason why it happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Majority niggas in jail as a multimillionaire, you get whatever the fuck you want, bro. Like, bro, I seen I seen niggas in the feds. Like, um, what was that nigga name? Chef G was sitting there playing Grand Theft Auto in the feds. Like, come on, bro. How do you even get a PlayStation and some more shit in there? You know what I'm saying? Niggas got cell phones. Nigga, I seen K Flock on Facetime or or IG Live or some shit. Like, it's just a little weird shit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Once you have money in jail, you can have it your way, gang. It's what it is. Yo, yo, listen, nobody in this bitch touched me. Everybody on this deck in commissary. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, it, but it also depends on what, uh, like, what level are you at? Like, how, well, how, 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 how high is the security? Because if you at, like, level one, like, level one, the jail's not going to be all, t like, hard on niggas. Like, that's how it really is. If you're on level one, you, 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 they give you, like, shit. 
But that's that, that's not just that's not just to famous people. It's regular niggas that be having phone I mean, and of, weed and shit. I mean, I mean, of course, but once you get bro in the maximum securities, that's where they're really strict. But what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, what rapper has been has gone to a maximum security prison, bro? Those prisons are the worst. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Yo, Zwarvo, thank you for 38 months. Probably the the <clears throat> I don't even think any rapper has been to a maximum security prison. Kodak? Or what? No, they should oh, they nah, 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 nah. treat them bad. Nah, nah, Kodak did go to a maximum security prison. He did. But I know, I know the reason why he did. The reason why he did was because he had crossed the border. Remember, he was trying to cross the border with firearms and shit. The, and he had narcotics on him. That's why they sent him to maximum prison. <clears throat> yeah, he was tripping for that. I ain't gonna lie. He was on some crap.